you know, people, the the gun control uh, debate, the gun control debate, was settled back in 1791. Yet, after Kennedy was killed, they, these uh, communists come out of the woodwork and started passing all these uh, unconstitutional firearms law that uh, doesn't keep the guns out of anybody's hands or if you ha if you're intent on doing something I mean you're going to do it there's evil and there's always going to be evil and those laws prevent nothing I was thinking about something that was uh, it's going through some things we got you know these people aren't working for the Constitution up there they're working against it they're intimidate, trying to intimidate people with this, um, with gun control. You know, that's putting people in fear, causing duress, kind of extortion in a way. They're intruding into things that they shouldn't be. Then called an invasion of privacy. Violation of a right which one has to be left alone and unnoticed if he chooses. Such invasion by an individual or the government may constitute an actionable tort. Tort means a private or civil wrong or injury, uh, including uh, action for bad faith and breach of contract. While they're breaking the contract that they have with America, it's called the Constitution. That's what tort means. If, uh, if they're doing things in bad faith and they're breach, breach of contract, they're liable. They can't sit there and day after day, you know, the Constitution says, Article 1, Section 4, that Congress is to meet at least once a year. They didn't mean for him, or did they intend for him, to sit all year long up there in D.C. and conspire instead of going home and listening to their uh, the people in, in their state of what's really going on. Oh, we know what's going on because, you know, we get uh, phone calls, we get mail. You get bits and pieces from people who are who have a job who really don't want to do their job. You're getting bits and pieces. You're not getting the whole thing. You're not getting all the facts. Well, you're afraid to go home because of all the unjust laws you wrote. Well, I understand that. I bet you are. I bet you are. This is what we live by. This is all the laws that we need. We don't need any more laws. Like I said, there's not one single, not one single firearm related law that you've passed that's done any good. Oh yeah, we've stopped this. We got background checks. You got shit. You got shit. You don't ban cars. There's more people killed with cars. And swimming pools. Um, bad doctors. Bad air. Happens all the time. You've had plenty of time to harden up the schools because, I mean, this happened many, 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 many years ago. But you, oh no, oh no, it's because of your inaction that this kid got killed. You know, you, you didn't, did you guys check into the, the, the fraud that was going on down there in Florida? That the uh, uh, board of, the school board, uh, conspired with the sheriff down there to defraud the government of state and federal funds. Uh, they uh, weren't doing their job. They picked up kids for mis misdemeanors. They let them go. Uh, there's nothing written down. Uh, if, they cre if they did felonies, they, they weren't adjusted to it. Uh, they weren't fixed. Uh, any uh, kind of... Uh, Stolen goods that they found, they took to the police station and hit them. They couldn't give them back because they couldn't let them know where they were coming from. Those people down there should be charged with involuntary manslaughter, defrauding the government, 
dereliction of duty, and nobody's listening. I called somebody to, to get hold, and they kind of gave me the runaround in government instead of listening. You know, they say, well, if you see something, report it. Well, did anybody report all that stuff that was going on with Clinton and them? Nope. Nope. It was hid. It was covered up. Just like so much injustice in this country. And then you have the, the gall, the balls to come out and say, oh, we need more firearm laws. No, Buckwheat, you don't. Nor are we going to let you. It ends. Get rid of the 1968 law and take it forward to all the way to 2018. And any firearm law in there, you get rid of it. Get rid of uh, the school zone thing. You get rid of the domestic violence. You get rid of uh, the Patriot Act. Get rid of the, the NDAA. You'd have a lot quieter country to live in. People, people would be more at ease. Your gun laws don't solve anything. You got a kid that supposedly uh, shut those kids up down there in the school. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But if he did, you don't put him in jail. That's not justice for the kids. You take the kid out and you have let him face a firing squad. You give him lethal injection. I don't care what you do, but let him pay for it. And you let that doggone sheriff down there pay for the same damn thing. This can't go on. You want justice? You know, you want you want your kids to feel safe? So do I. I raised three kids, I know. By myself. And uh, now, it's time for you people to get off your butts and do the common sense thing. And like I said, don't spend all your damn time in Washington, D.C. Get out there among the people to find out what really needs to be done. You're get, like I said, you're getting bits and pieces, and that, that that's not the facts. You people always talk, oh, all these statistics and this and that. Well, you know what? That doesn't mean shit. Go home and get the real truth. Thanks for listening. Like, oh, wait a minute. Like I said, this gun debate thing was settled 227 years ago, 1791. Don't forget it.